Banao and his uncle are Dayaks, a group of people who were the original inhabitants of Sarawak. Dayaks usually live in longhouses. A longhouse is shared by many families. Building the longhouse on poles 10 feet above the ground and using a slatted floor lets cool air enter the room. Domestic animals are kept underneath. Along the front of the longhouse is a wide porch. Inside the house, a large common room is shared by all the Dayak families that live here. They often work, eat, and dance in the common room. This Dayak woman is making a mat from rattan, which is a climbing plant. These people make many things from materials they find in the forests around their home. An old man skillfully makes string from a fiber that grows in the rainforest. The Dayak women weave beautiful cotton blankets. Not all of the space in the longhouse is used communally. Each family has a room of its own. Here, Banao's mother is cooking the evening meal. In this drawing, you can see how a longhouse would look without some of its walls. On the right is the common area for work. To the left are the private rooms, one for each family. Under the roof is storage space where rice and other foods are kept. The Dayaks grow most of their food. These boys are learning how to plant rice. Small plants are placed in soil covered by water. When the rice has grown and ripened, it's picked. The part containing the rice grains is cut off with a small knife held in the palm of the hand. These are rubber trees. Malaysia supplies one-third of the world's natural rubber, and a small portion of this comes from Sarawak. Rubber is made from the sap of the rubber tree. Trees are tapped in the early morning by slicing the bark diagonally. The sap is collected in clay cups or bamboo bark. The small amount of rubber which comes from Sarawak is important to the Dayak people. It's something they can trade for other goods. The sap, known as latex, oozes out of the cut. In two or three hours, the cups are full and the tapper returns to empty them. In peninsular Malaysia, the collected latex is usually taken to a processing center. But in Sarawak, families process the latex at home. To thicken the latex, they add formic acid. The thickened latex is flattened into thin sheets. The sheets are squeezed through a press to make them even thinner. then left on the porch to dry in the sun. The sheets are smoked, then put into bales and stacked for market. By this time, Banao's mother has finished cooking, and the family is eating in their private longhouse room. The most important food in their diet is rice, which is eaten with small portions of meat and vegetables. Banao's father is the chief of this longhouse. Banao's sister has already learned that it's good manners to pick up food with the right hand, but never the left. Banao's father has given him a job to do tomorrow. With his uncle, Banao heads down the river to the market town of Kapit. They plan to sell rubber and rattan in order to buy other things the family needs. Many people are traveling on the river this morning, perhaps also to sell and buy goods in Kapit. The river is wider near Kapit. Banao carries the bundle of rubber and his uncle handles the rattan. 
they hope to buy a kerosene lamp and batteries for their radio, things which don't grow in the forest. Banau offers his rubber and rattan to the owner of this store. Like many of the business people in Malaysia, she's Chinese. While the shopkeeper figures out what Banau's articles are worth, he talks to her nephew, a Chinese boy named Li Min Dun. Within a half hour, Banau, his uncle, and the shopkeeper have settled on a fair price. After purchasing the lamp and batteries, it's time to head up the river for home. Banau's father will be pleased with the outcome of this trip. 